Good morning. I'm Calvin Crane. I'm Kayla Pena. I'm Maya Quintero. And, and this is K Buzz. So for all you eighth readers out there, K Buzz is kind of like your school news. Um, we do the music at lunch and we help out with the yearbook. So this week we are going to be going around the school and interviewing different clubs. This is Mrs. Shock, and she is the advisor for the QSA. So Mrs. Shock, what is the QSA? So do I hold this? Yeah. So the QSA, Queer Straight Alliance, um, is pretty much just a group about um, being able to come together without any type of judgment, just kind of living your life however you want to, whether you know, you're know straight, queers, as they call it, that just kind of covers everything that's like not straight. Um, it's just a place to come together so that you can be welcomed and not judged and just be yourself for like an hour every other week. Okay, so I'm with Braxton. He's the officer for the Interact Club. So what do you do for the Interact Club? We basically do service projects to help people and to like just do projects, really. Okay. So hi, this <laughs> hi, this is Ms. Fawcett, and she's in, in charge of the math team. Team, yeah, team. All right, uh, what is this about? Uh, the math team is a chance for students to compete during math. They, um, the competition itself, they go down to Weber State University where they take a super hard test. Some of the questions are like eighth grade level, some of the questions are like college calculus. All right guys, this is Mrs. Norman and she is the advisor for the National Junior Honor Society. So what is the National Junior Honor Society? It is a group of students. You have to be in ninth grade to be part of the club and we take the top 55 students that have the highest GPA. So I'm with Mr. Johnson and he is the advisor for GYC, Governor's Youth Council. So what is GYC? Uh, the GYC club or the Governor's Youth Council is a group of about eight or 10 uh, students from our school uh, that are involved with the Bear River Health Department uh, up here in northern Utah. It's a statewide program. Craig, she helps with robotics. Um, Frau, Craig, Frau Craig is your German name. Miss Craig, um, can you tell us about it? Uh, robotics is about um, just that. Robotics, technology, uh, coding, building robots, all that stuff. It's kind of fun. Hi, Mr. Cottle. Um, what is the Spanish club? Can you tell eighth graders, soon to be ninth graders, what it is? Yeah, the Spanish club is uh, a club in which all members that are taking Spanish or want to take Spanish can join. It's open to anybody. It's a place where uh, we can share common likenesses for culture and for language and food and uh, music and just all around have a good time. Anybody so this is Mrs. Miller and she's the advisor for National History Day. Can you tell us what National History Day is? It's a competition that's kind of like the science fair for history. So you pick a topic in history and it can be any part of history in any part of the world, something that you are interested in. So it's taking history just out of the classroom and out of your teacher, just telling you what you're going to learn and you get to pick the subject that you are interested in. Over the course of months, you become an expert in that subject. You're doing your own historic research. You're searching for books and expert opinions, articles. Some students are even doing interviews. Hi, Ms. Meyer, what is FCCLA? FCCLA stands for Family, Career, Community, Leaders of America. Uh, can you describe that for us? <laughs> it's um, all about the family. It's a leadership club. So if you cho choose to join the club, you will be doing the leadership opportunities and competing in family-oriented activities. Um, how can we join this and how, what room do you meet in? We meet in room 10 on Wednesdays during bus time and then we also have one activity after school every day. Or every month. Every month, all right, sweet. All right guys, this is Mrs. Smicka and she is the advisor for the art club. So what is the art club? The art club is formed so that kids who love art can come together and we can do projects and things that you can't do if you are in my classes because we don't have time. So what would someone do if they wanted to get into the art club? Come to me, get an application form and fill it out, have your parents sign it and bring it back. All right, thank you Mrs. Smicka.
Hi, so I'm with Mr. Kunzler, and he is the advisor for FBLA. Thank you. So FBLA stands for Future Business Leaders of America. And what we do is we actually compete in the business world. I mean, we have business competitions. We'll compete at state. We have a chance to go to nationals. We meet for FBLA on Thursdays during buzz time. So come and find out. It's in room five. So come and learn more about us. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Tune in next Friday.